Hello everybody, we are back for Alan Wake 2 DLC. We played through the main game, I think on on YouTube or Twitch or something. I streamed it and then I posted it on YouTube. So now I'm posting this on YouTube too. We're starting their DLC, the uh, Night Springs stuff. So let's hop in. So Night Springs episodes are now available to play. Experience the surreal strangeness of the Night Springs TV show and three episodic adventures that transform the familiar into the bizarre. Warning, are you sure? Night Springs episodes contains content, characters, and game mechanics that are introduced and tutorialized in the main campaign. I've already played the main campaign. So, number one fan is Rose. North Star... I would assume that would be Jesse Faden. And then Time Breaker would be Sheriff Breaker. So, I mean, we're just going to start with number one, right? Loading into the expansion from this menu will overwrite your progress in the exi existing expansion quick save slot. I mean, I haven't loaded anything yet, so let's get to it. You'll have to forgive me. My allergies are killing me today, so... A fan. The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee. An abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. To be a fan is a joyous existence, one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted out of the flock, I love Mr. Door. I hope we figure out more about him in this. The only one who could decipher his secret messages. <laughs> what lengths would you go to save the object? In of your that springs. <laughs> I'm so excited. Tonight's cult classic episode, number one fan. Number one fan. Let's go. I hope the audio is well balanced. I think it's fine. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Rose. Life's a funny thing. You spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something. And then, bam, destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago. <laughs> but that's okay. When your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany colored velvet, you don't really mind how it arrives. day didn't start off with all that excitement it began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of night springs oh we're in the As diner always, night's diner was the hottest spot in town night's so diner there was plenty of work to do i don't think that was the name previously interesting yo what look at that beard bro Everyone. Hey guys. Can I get another cup of tea? The diamond coconut. Wait, the the diner is a different color. Who else wants a top up? Me. Right here, please. One for me, please. Hold on, guys. I got to get the got to get the coffee. Sorry. 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 Let me just grab a fresh pot. This optional dispense really good advice. Hold on. We're going to have to move my camera a little bit because it's hiding the uh it's hiding like the quest objective. So we'll we'll put it there and see how that goes. I here is to die for. Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this diner, your bird sanctuary, and that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much? Yeah, how do you manage it, Rose? Hard work plus talent. Extremely hard, but also I'm naturally talented. <laughs> well, heck, no wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be a successful Dude, she looks you. like nightmare fuel. 
Stop your comparing yourself to me. Comparing yourself to me won't help. You gotta find what you wanna do and do it. I believe in you. Wow. You just changed my entire way of looking at the world. We're definitely in an episode of Night Springs no because problem. Rose is like I don't know. Here you go. A person of your Everyone's praising her so much, you know. Wasted, serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Oh, I don't mind. All right. Gosh, I love this game so much. I adore this game. Oh, I can't believe I left my hat at home. Hot coffee. I heard your fan site for that writer was named best fan site <laughs> in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. It wasn't easy. Best Another fan cup. site in the I world. Like you do for that writer of yours. You two are destined for each other. <laughs> we sure are. Oh, That's everyone's Rose. coffee. Better put this pot back. Better put this pot back. I love Maybe unpopular opinion. I hate diner coffee. Operator, it's like really bad. County's most popular diner. That was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent and flowing hair and lips. There we go. Buttery pie crust. Pie! I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables. Pie! Shucks. Shucks. Something, uh, this isn't what the Odeer Diner looked like, I don't think. It was much more, it wasn't as pink. You're the expert on romance. Any advice? Oh, any advice? Uh, what happened? Yes. But first, tell me everything. Long story short, she told me I dressed like a divorced gym teacher. But it's what's inside kind of. that matters, right? Personality is all that matters, or you need to make an effort? I'm going to say you need to make an effort. You still have to put in some effort. You don't have a jacket with elbow patches? <laughs> Buy one. Elbow patches? Ooh, got it. Thanks a million. <laughs> don't mention it. That's what Alan wears. Is Can I stack the plates? Is going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course. We're going to make can. this our 20th win in a row. Those plates won't clear themselves. I don't know who does the voice for Rose, but she absolutely kills it. I saw in the news that you saved every single kitten from that thing. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks. Those yoga lessons really paid off. Yoga. The writer lives just outside town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? Oh. Uh, we have our own ways of talking. So Alan lived right outside in this episode of Night Springs. Let's see, is anybody at the bar? Better take these plates bar? back to the service window. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, can I borrow you? What? What can I get you? It's a weird way to phrase it, right? Oh, do people say that? Can I borrow you? I need a good book recommendation. After all, you're the town's literature buff. <laughs> oh, you have. Got to read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy. I'll grab you a copy from the back. A trilogy. You know, I want to write a book one day. I think I will. I'm gonna write a book one day. Ooh, what's going on here? Beat poetry night at Knight's Diner. Knight's Diner presents Beat Poetry Night for the literary advancement of Night Springs. Oh, wait. Night Springs. This place wasn't called Night Springs in the base game. I don't know why I can't remember that, but Night Springs is the name of the show. This place is... I don't know why I want to call this Stars Hollow, but it's not. I miss you. Oh my god, Rose is carrying him. Employee of the Decade Award. 
better not crease any pages. Two can do it. Thank you so much for taking in my six macaws. I, don't, I know you have your hands full with all the other sick birds at your bird sanctuary, but if anyone can find a cure for the rare bird lupus, it's you. Uh, not looking, no audio, but I did finish work. Actually, we are watching some of the game shows right now, and then I will be starting. Okay, cool. Uh, only thing that hurts more than love is loving again. Love will hurt by America's best-selling writer. Death comes for everyone. That doesn't mean it's painless. Death will hurt. A man's life is ripped away. He's out to get justice, and the whole city will hurt. Huh. I'm fighting a running nose right now. Desperately trying not to, like, sniff it into the mic. I remember in Alan Wake 1 where it started. Like, right here, you meet the darkness for the first time. Well, this is not where the books are. No time for that. I've got customers waiting. I thought I was getting a book. Are these not the books? What am I doing? Is there a button to figure out what I'm doing? I know she said she's gonna go in the back to get one. Maybe right here. No. Am I dumb? Am I missing something? Freight's in chat right now. He has it muted um, because he doesn't want spoilers because he's also about to play this, but uh, we were talking about the today's like Summer Game Fest, or not Summer Game Fest, but uh, other shows. He said he's watching some of them. Uh, not anything I would be interested in at these shows. Maybe a couple things, but nothing that screams Colleen. So that's good. But it's kind of not good, because like, I want something to scream my name. Video game-wise. I, I can't find a book. Um. Okay, get the novel from storage. So it is in storage. Also, triangle is how you open that. Good to know. It's been a while. It's been a while. So this is storage. So the only thing I can interact with is this or this. Maybe I can look down further. No. Come on. Grab a book. Do I grab one of these? Oh. Your favorite Holy mother. Recognize in your sleep. Oh, that just scared me. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. I forgot I'm playing a horror game for a second. That scared oh me. Gosh. Don't worry. I'm on my way. Why did it? Our beloved writer was in terrible danger, and I had to rescue him. The stakes had never been higher. Why did it do it that I time? Kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. Kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. Ugh, I like how she shoved through the door. Ugh. I forgot how unsettling this game is at some point. Who's cooking? Who put a whole pepper on the grill? Just a whole pepper, man. That's my accessories. Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. My bolt action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly and looks good doing it. <laughs> Just like me, my trusty 12 gauge, fully automatic. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. What about any of this other stuff? Finally ready for a night out Activate the, the shotgun's fully Wait, automatic danger. fire? Wait, what? Dude, we are kitted right now. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, that just loops around. <laughs> we have to go save Alan. Yard. 
Everything's so pink right now. White's, or no, Night's Diner. Best pie in town, Night's Diner. Oh, oh my. I love how they're cheering me on. I got turned around. I got turned around. I did. I did. This was my moment. My chance to save the writer and make him realize how much he needed me. And if that's not love, I don't know what is. I love this game. We'll be way worse at it. One waitress plus one rider equals forever. <laughs> Except for a locked gate. Oh no, it ain't locked. Is that Tor? It's Scratch. Are we gonna fight Scratch already? Hold on. Definitely a bug right there. Look at that. Who are you? And why do you look like a slightly less handsome version of my writer? Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but we can't all be perfect. I had no idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. She's freaking today, out. There won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in his shadow. But you're his brother. I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common. And after you change, you can move in together. And I'll come over with popcorn for movie night. Dude, she's like, she's like fantasizing a threesome with nights, Alan and his to keep everything for twin brother right now. Too bad. You know what they say? If you can't join him, beat him. I don't think that's what they say. I think what they say if you can't beat him, him, join him. I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere. You'll never find him. You won't get away with this. I'll stop you. Babe. I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die if it stops them from writing another crappy book. What do you got? I have a shotgun. I have a shotgun. Well, I got a... Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? Okay, I admit that's a... <laughs> I didn't expect that. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter. You can't stop all of us. Only a monster what the be blind was that? My writer's books. Now it's only one oh, wrong button. Fuck. All being very rude. I don't remember all the controls, guys. So pardon me if I mess up. I don't remember the controls. It, it's been so long. Ah. Oh. Come on, heal, heal, heal. Toss back some pills. I love this game, man. I love this game. Come at me! <laughs> oh, 
I love this game. We're going to turn the volume down just a wee bit because it felt a little loud there, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be all right in post. Okay, so we must must have to follow the flame. I wonder, like, to what extent are there collectibles in this? Like, should I be worried about collecting things? Um, about scavenging or what? My writer's jerky twin had him locked up somewhere, like a sweet, helpless prince locked in a tower. But his fan in shining armor was on her way. <laughs> Luckily, one of those haters had made a hole in the fence for me. Gosh. Hey, what up, guys? How you doing? How you doing? I love the freaking battle music. Oh, I love it. Who's at me? Who's coming? Huh? Oh, look. Somebody's having... Oh, what's up, dog? Where are you coming from? Isn't it crazy how a game changes from somewhat spooky to absolutely goofy having a good time just based on the music my gun's hungry <laughs> i love this like i'm curious for those of you who are watching this video on youtube like how into alan wake are you i played the first alan wake leading up to alan wake 2 um because i kind of wanted to do my history and i liked alan wake 1 just fine Alan Wake 2 motorcycle had left tracks in the mud. Like indoctrinated me. I recognized me. the tread pattern immediately thanks to my famously keen perception. The tracks would lead me right to my We have 326. I felt like the detective from my writer's books solving the case with my wits. We've, All I needed oh my now gosh, was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused by the untimely death of my spouse. <laughs> we have 326 26 shotgun shells. 356, and we are loaded up, man. Holy crap. I can't pick anything else up, eh? All right, we, we're going to have to use some of the shotgun then. Um, Like, in the base game, I would run around and look for collectibles and stuff, but here... I don't guess so. I, I don't guess I'm going to. More haters. <gasps> haters. A little too far away. Bop, bop. Oh, crap. Hold on. We're going to have to pull out the rifle for that guy. They're actually taking quite a few hits. Nice. <laughs> hey man, I'm trying to be chill here. We're trying to be chill here. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. So these are her haters. I do need to heal though. There's a trophy I saw for killing three haters in one explosion. Um, I'm gonna have to do that at some point. Come on, guys. Where are all my haters at? Come here. You're too fast. You think I got enough there? I don't think I did. Oh, I didn't. Wow, hold on. There we go. I ate my spinach this morning. I'm just curious how much you guys like Alan Wake because I adore it. And I I didn't until... It's very dark there. I didn't adore it until the second one. I feel like a bandwagoner, but... He 
could reveal this vulnerable chapter from the dramatic story of his emotionally troubled past. Oh, that man has more layers than a croissant. That man has more layers than a croissant. I'm gonna use that. That that girl got more layers than a croissant. All right, we're getting close. This game is just so like I couldn't let these wacky and to plague my dear writer oh, with their negativity. I would treat them the same Ooh, way I treat trolls on my fan site, but this time I was banning them from life. Oh boy. All right. I'm going to try to read this, but reading is not easy for me. <laughs> okay. All the tears of all the angels in heaven were falling over this city. She wore the rain like a funeral shroud. She was in a sad state, this city of mine. But she was still mine, the filthy prison I called home. I was here for a reason. Joe Bullets Capone. He was inside drinking champagne and throwing around his dirty money while I stood in the rain smoking a soggy cigarette. But that didn't matter. The only thing that mattered was I knew Bullets had a bad night coming his way and he had no clue. He made me wait for it, though. My pack of cigarettes was long gone by the time bullets staggered out the back door. I detached myself from the shadows, stepping up right beside that pathetic excuse for a man. Long time, Joe. Bullets looked up. His booze-soaked grin twisted into something less friendly. You! He reached for the pistol and under his jacket, a six-shooter with slugs big as my cigarette stubs. I'd done my homework. He barely had a piece out of his, hol his, piece out of his holster, before I was on him. I wrestled it out of his hands, tossed it behind a dumpster. Bullets didn't like that. He gave me one right in the gut. Wind rushed out of my lungs like a soul leaving my body. Through my wheezing, I could make out the slap of boots against water. Bullets was legging it. Had to get after him. Couldn't lose him. Not when I was so close. He had info I needed. The address... I just burped. The address of the last stop for his train called Revenge. So I sucked in whatever air I could and took off after him. Though the only twist... Though the twisting maze of alleyways, two rats. Through the twisting maze... See, I've, I've lost it. I, I did good there for a minute, but then I lost it. Through the twisting maze of alleyways, two rats, but only one cheese. I pulled out my revolver. I was playing for keeps. Don't make this hard, Joe. I caught up to him as he was dropping down the other side of a chain-link fence. He sneered, teeth like rows of gray tombstones. He thought he was escaping. He thought he was safe. My body slammed against the fence like a bird against a window. I clutched the thin metal scram I clutched the thin metal, scrambled over it, the jagged ends of wire ripping through the sleeves of my leather coat and biting into the skin. The pain was welcome. I was only one of three. Holy crap. Oh, that was a whole page. I just read that whole page. I dropped down in the alley and ran like a panther. At every blind corner, I expected a trash can lid to the face. None came. Maybe bullets hadn't liked what he saw in my eyes as I climbed that fence. I bet he wasn't smiling now. Then I had him. A trapped rat trying to and failing to wrench a locked door off its hinges. I leveled my gun at him. You know what I want, Joe. Bullets let go of the door handle. Hands as up as they'd go, beseeching a higher power not to cast him down. Come on, man. Ain't gotta bring your wife back. Can't hurt to try. Talk. Yeah, yeah, sure thing, sure. Bullets lunged for his ankle. A crack of lightning from my hand, and he was down in the gutter, clutching his belly. I walked over, calm as snow. I stood over him, watched his putrid blood mingle with the rivers of rainwater. You talk, I call an ambulance. His words were having a hard time getting through the pain. You're insane, man. Insane. I raised the gun level with his eyes. Try again. Okay, okay, okay. You want the big man, yeah? I know where you can find him. Blood pounded in my ears like war drums. All the killing. The sleepless nights. The booze. The countless cigarettes I smoked while ghosts swirled around me. It was all for this. The drums got louder. Bullets caught his breath, straining against the pain, and he spilled his guts. My number one fan... Wait, hold on. <laughs> My number one fan. If I don't make it, then I just want you to know that... 
No, I can't say it. Curse my cripplingly sensitive artistic nature. I left the alley and told a waiter on the curb that a guy had been shot. I didn't care what he did with that information. I had what I needed. What? <laughs> what happened there? I don't know. Hey, that was pretty cool though. Okay, let's go. My number one fan. All right, we're... The motorcycle tracks ended at a cabin. Was this cabin always here? Was it was, wasn't inside? it? Yeah, this this cabin was here. I remember this. I'm here. I've come to save you. Oh, joy! We can finally be together and sit through eight poetry readings and drink eighteen dollar cocktails and have high tea with the queen. Wait a minute. Muscles don't cry; they My sweat. Only drinks coffee. Two sugars, no milk. I keep all the mugs. Okay. No more drinks. What's this? I guess writing doesn't run in the family. Brothers, the moon can only shine when the sun is gone. The night can only come when the day is gone. When the day is done, can the sea ever meet the ocean? Very dark in here. Don't forget, Colin. This is a horror game. Where are you? I was never upstairs. I lied when I said there were no more tricks. You're starting to piece me off, mister. Where is my writer? I'm just having a little fun. Let's chat down at the beach. Uh. First, he kidnaps my writer. Then he calls him a tea drinker. He had crossed the line. I was going to go to that beach and give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime. It's different uh, torture ideas. Car battery, solid potential. Pulling fingernails, too messy. The bell, where do I get a bell? Blunt spoon, nice and simple. Dismantle typewriters, A plus psychological damage. Gasoline fire, mm, fire might burn down my cabin. Maybe I'm overcomplicating this. The twin said he was down at the beach. Am I gonna get scared? I'm starting to get scared now that I'm in this creepy house, man. I'm scared. Oh, there he is. Come here, Scratch. What up, brother? Hey, me and my bike were just enjoying the view. <laughs> Where is my rider? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring, he dresses like a nerd. Hush your mouth! He is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. Tell me or else. You are going to tell me where he is or else. Or else what, babe? I will scold you. you. For it. You are rude. You have no manners. Your too cool to care attitude is attractive initially, but drives people away after they realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard with that outfit. You no, stop. I don't like being seen. <laughs> Listen, I never had your precious writer. I was just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms this mansion. Now the love of your life is doomed. Doomed! <laughs> no! I'm gonna need a wolf thing. What is going on with the wolf? I don't understand. Here, let's line them up. Let's line them up. Let's line them up. Oh, I almost had three. Okay, it turns out it explodes on its own. I never used any of those in the base game because I thought I had to shoot them. Come at me! As fast as my chunky kitten heels would take me.
Dude, I've never, there's never been another game that pulls off this many, like, styles of, of, of tone, like this many different tones successfully. It's like a freaking beach episode right now. I love this game. What do you see, Rose? That's a deer. I knew you, my number one fan, <laughs> would never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise. And just as fiery. What? But I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. I believe in you. Do we know what's going on? Alan Wake has become a deer? My writer believed in me. Listen to all the writer's men? Kindred spirits. We fit together like a bicycle chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into. <laughs> we were connected by love and destiny. He was meant to be mine, always and forever. There was no time to lose. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. The fate of all art rested on my shoulders. Yeah, we're going to the, never been higher. the nursing home or whatever it is. The old folks home. Follow the bad boy's trail. Talk to the bad boy. What up, bad boy? Oh, what does that do? So just close it. And then rather, rather leave it open. I got bad memories of this place. Man, it closed I on its own. You myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. <laughs> Thing. It's like an even lower, like, resolution. Oh, that's not the right word. No dodge! Oh. oh, I missed? So it's definitely scratch, right? Reload! On. I just saw her. I just got murdered, man. Absolutely murdered. I didn't stand a chance there once they started both attacking. Holy crap. All right. Come here, Mr. Wake. Or whoever I you are. To stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Come on. Get your hands dirty now. Reload. Dude, she's got some quick fingers to reload 12 shells in that little amount of time. Holy crap.
Reload quick, Rose. Where's he at? I know I'm not getting much back there, but... Dodge! Bullets o'clock. Dodge! Oh! Come at me, you little wolf. I got him! Nope. Not quiet. <laughs> what is that? What is the wolf? It's like the wolf t-shirt. It's like the famous like air air sprayed wolf t-shirt, whatever it's called. Go ahead. Finish me off. I'm not going to kill you. You're my darling writer's brother. You really do love him, huh? I guess I never even had a chance. <laughs> I was just jealous of his talent. His money. His velvety hair, but mostly that he's got the love of somebody as amazing as you. Oh, you silly werewolf. You could have all those things too. You just need to stop wanting to be him and start wanting to be you. Your words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. <laughs> what have I done? I love how tropey the this is. It's perfect. It's all my fault. Please go save him. Oh, I intend to. Is this another trick? This is another trick. This mansion scared me last time I was here. It's okay. I'm sure I won't. Be scared. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm sure I won't be scared anymore. Hold on. Let's let's heal. Just to be safe. Let's top off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, crawl. This DLC goes hard, man. You got hella ammo, yes, dude. This is like a. I, it's amazing. If, this is amazing. It, it's it's so fun. I'm gonna start now. Yeah, this is episode one. There's three different episodes, and this is just episode one. So far, it's been about 40 minutes. I would assume I'm close to being done with it, but I don't know. The crazy amount of ammo is, I guess, like, the, the shtick of this one. I assume it's not going to be like that in all of them. Another trick, I bet. I don't know if I hit any of those. <laughs> the spiral door. Oh, shoot. So, so this is, I assume, this isn't, it's like DLC. Is a story that Alan has written in the dark place to try to help himself escape. Beard, hair beard regimen, twice a week. Wash thoroughly with cold water. Gently pat dry with high thread count towel. Brush three times with honeycomb. Bought locally at the farmer's market. Apply shampoo to dry hair. 
You know what? We're not going to read that. I'm Never wear hats. Oh, okay. Ideas for next book. Ooh. Inventive murder weapons. Stapler. Lawn gnome. Swordfish. Philosophy? Escalate the crime. Plunge the depths of humanity's darkness. A murder religion. Hero's motivation. A rival private eye? His wife returns from the dead only to be killed a second time? Too much? Not enough? A waitress character? Have time to admire my writer's taste and decor. A waitress character who's intelligent, sophisticated, and good with a weapon. Smells like cinnamon and gunpowder. Hmm. Alright, let's see what scary thing is behind this door. It can't be good, right? <laughs> She's covered Together. in blood. Our love was written in the stars. He's married. And so we danced like two spinning planets that would eventually crash into each other in a dazzling display of flames and rocks and other planet stuff. He told me all the sweet things I'd been waiting a lifetime to hear. I saw myself reflected in his eyes. I would always be at his side to inspire and protect him. <laughs> he needed me now and forever. After all, is he really married? I am his number one fan. <laughs> I think so. I think he's married. Yeah. And the object of her joy come together against a world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending. For some, but his happiness, like beauty, all in the eye of the beholder. Where is the line between fandom and fixation? One can never tell. In the -na 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 -na. that's a good jingle, dude. -na 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 -na. Oh, that's good. That's a good jingle. That's a good jingle. In a human suit. This uh, this song's actually been on the Alan Wake 2 playlist on Spotify for a long time, so I've heard this song a lot. Um, that's episode one. That's episode one. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Episode two and three will be out very soon. So thank you. Have a great day.